Commissioner Bud Selig and Hall of Fame broadcaster Vin Scully. Century, through peace and war, through periods of calm and through periods of social upheaval, through economic boom and economic depression, through times of enlightenment and times of scandal, there has been one constant, the great game of baseball. Tonight, with our partners at MasterCard International, we honor this great game and the 15,000 players who played it during the 20th century by bringing you the special few who transcended the eras in which they played. By vote of the fans, they are the greatest players of the 20th century. They are the all-century team. To introduce this team, it is my privilege to turn the program over to one of the truly great broadcasters of all time, the voice of the Dodgers for the past 50 years, Mr. Vin Scully. Thank you, Commissioner. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant good evening to you. It's an honor and a privilege to play a small part in tonight's festivities and to bring this wonderful gathering to baseball fans throughout the world. We're here to honor the great players at a very precious moment, a moment that we will not relive in our lifetime. So pull up a chair. And let's meet the members of Major League's Baseball All-Century Team presented by MasterCard. First of all, your All-Century Pitchers. He is the only five-time Cy Young Award winner. He struck out 20 batters in a game on two separate occasions. Roger Clemens. He exemplified competitiveness and consistency. He won seven straight World Series games for the St. Louis Cardinals. 
Bob Gibson. A seven-time strikeout king. He was baseball's most dominant left-handed pitcher of the first half of the century. Lefty Grove. His durability and dominance led to his nickname, The Big Train. He won 416 games including a record 110 shutouts. Walter Johnson. He dominated the early 60s, winning three Cy Young Awards, pitching four no-hitters. His ERA in 57 innings of World Series play, an amazing 0.95. Sandy Koufax. He was one of baseball's first heroes, pitching, if you can believe it, three shutouts in six days in the 1905 World Series. Christy Mathewson. He holds the career strikeout record, 5,714. He tossed an amazing seven no-hitters, the Ryan Express, Nolan Ryan. He won 20 or more games 13 times is the winningest left-handed pitcher in baseball history, Warren Spahn. He set the standard for pitching excellence and his record, 511 wins, 749 complete games, will likely stand for all time. Cy Young. Next, your all-century catchers. He was the backbone and most feared hitter for the big red machine, winning two MVP awards and 10 gold gloves, Johnny Bench. He was one of the game's best clutch performers. He still holds the record, most hits and games in the World Series, three-time MVP, Yogi Berra. Next, your all-century first baseman. called the Iron Horse and was one of the great sluggers of all time. He still holds the record for 23 career Grand Slams, Lou Gehrig. He hit 49 home runs as a rookie in 1987 and a record 70 home runs to captivate the nation last year. He reached 500 career home runs in fewer games than anyone in history. Mark McGuire. Next, 
Next, we honor your all-century second baseman. He still holds the record for the highest single-season batting average, hitting 424 in 1924. Rogers Hornsby. He was a six-time All-Star. And in 1947, he changed the game forever when he broke the color barrier of America's national sport, baseball, and American legend, Jackie Robinson. your all-century shortstops. <laughs> he delighted Cubs fans with his 512 home runs, steady fielding, cheerful approach to the game, two-time MVP. Hey, let's play two! won two MVP awards, hit 400 home runs, and is nine hits away from 3,000. He played in a record 2,632 consecutive games. Cal Ripken, Jr. the game's most complete star at the beginning of the century and won 10 National League batting titles. Honus Wagner. <laughs> Next, your all-century third baseman. A clutch hitter who set the modern-day standard for defensive excellence. 16-time Gold Glove winner, Brooks Robinson. He possessed an unprecedented combination of power, defensive skill, and speed three-time MVP, 10-time Gold Glove winner, Mike Schmidt. <laughs> and finally, your all-century outfielder. called the Georgia Peach, but he was the most feared hitter and base runner of his time. His 367 career batting average still ranks as the all-time best, Ty Cobb. <laughs> he was
was an all-star in each of his 13 seasons. His 56-game hitting streak in 1941, one of the game's most cherished records, the Yankee Clipper, Joe DiMaggio. One of baseball's most complete players, he has won nine consecutive gold gloves, and at the age of 29, he already has 398 home runs. The youngest all-century player, Ken Griffey Jr. Game's most productive sluggers ever. His 1956 Triple Crown season was one of the best in baseball history. Mickey Mantle. He was the giant say hey kid. He played in 24 All-Star games, won 11 gold gloves for his electrifying play in center field. His 660 home runs are third all time. Say hey, Willie! This three-time MVP and 24-time All-Star for the St. Louis Cardinals was among the greatest all-around offensive players of the 40s and 50s. Stan the man, Stan Musial. <laughs> he was known as Charlie Hustle. He holds the major league record for most career hits, 4,256. Pete Rose. the game's best pitcher ended up 714 home runs later as an American legend, George Herman Babe Ruth. Triple crown. He was the last man to hit 400 in a season 58 years ago. He hit 521 career home runs, including one in his final at bat. The splendid splinter, Teddy Ball game. He was a 24-time All-Star, 
He batted over 300 14 times. Baseball's career RBI leader, and he became baseball's all-time home run king 25 years ago, Henry Aaron! and gentlemen, with apologies to the playwright, for one brief shining moment, this is Camelot. Ladies and gentlemen, your all-century team.